Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, I am Dave. I'm first year medical student. And so for today's video, we will continue where we left off dun sa last video natin. Because dun sa last video natin, um, ang tinakil ko lang or yung sinagutan ko lang is yung fundamental na part, yung first part lang ng quantitative reasoning. So for today's video, we will answer the problem solving. And I hope sa third video, dun natin masasagutan yung data interpretation. So without further ado, we will start. Okay, so ayan, naka-open na yung notability natin. So we will open another blank note and then we will open the NMAT practice set. So where we left off is the problem solving part. So for number 12, number 12. So, what is the perimeter of a regular hexagon if the length of one side is equal to x? So, ang hexagon, syempre, dapat you should know your basic shapes. Hexagon is 6. So, for number 12, this is 6x. Kasi hexagon, it has an equal sides. So, for 6 sides, so meron siyang equal sides. So, may anim siyang equal sides. So, it's just 6x. Okay? So, 12. I 13. So, one box measures 7 meters by 15 meters by 8 meters. And then, another box measures 9 meters by 10 meters. Ay, tas may 8 pa pala. So, 8. Okay. So, by how many cubic meters is the volume of one box greater than another? So, volume. So, Kapag ang perimeter ng ano natin, ng isang box or ng isang square is just side squared. So, kapag perimeter naman ng rectangle, it's 2 lengths plus 2 width. So, for volume, it's just you have to multiply yung x-axis, yung y-axis, and yung z-axis niya. So, for the first box, it's just 7 times 15 times 8. So, para hindi ka mahirapan, First, multiply muna natin yung 7 and 8. So, 7 times 8 is 56. 56. And then, dahil 15 yung next mong multiply, we can break it down sa dalawa. So, yung 10 and then 5. So, 56 times 10 is just 560. So, dahil 5 is kalahati ng 10, ano bang kalahati ng 56? It is 280. And then you just have to add both numbers, which will lead into 840 cubic meters. Okay? So, yung next is 8 times 9 times 10. So, 8 times 9 is just 72. So, times 10, it's 720 meter, cubic meters. So, ang difference nila ay 120 cubic meters. Which is letter C. Number 13, letter C. Okay. So, next. 14. A patient needs a certain tablet for 7 days. So, 7 days. He has to take one tablet every 3 hours. So, 3 hours. How many tablets does he need? So, for the whole span ng 7 days, ilang tablets yung kailangan niyang inumin? So, 7 days. Ilang hours ba nga sa isang araw? So, 24 hours. So, sa isang araw, makakailan siya if every 3 hours siya dapat iinom. So, ang sagot dito is 8. So, iinom siya ng 8 tableta bawat araw. So, times 7, it's just 56. So, 56 tablets yung dapat niyang mainom. So, 14 is D. 15. So, a jeepney fare for the first 4 kilometers is 9.50. And for each additional kilometer, 25 centavo is added. How much is the fare for 17 kilometer distance? So, ibawas mo muna kasi base fare na yung 4 kilometers. So, 17 kilometers minus 4 kilometers. Meron kang 13 kilometers na kailangan mong i-compute na meron kang 25 centavo per kilometer. So, again, 13. So, nakikita mo na kagad siya may 10. So, 10 3. So, sa 10, yung 25 centavo mo, magiging 250. 
So, 25 centavo times 3 is just 75 centavo. So, pag pinag-add mo to, sagot mo dito is 3.25. And then, you just have to add yung base fare mo na 9.50. So, ang sagot mo dito dapat... Okay. So, ang sagot mo dapat dito is... 25, tapos... 12. 12.75. Which is B. Okay. So, next. 16. So, Miss, Mrs. Santos can finish 4th four, four place math for every 3 that her daughter finishes. If Mrs. Santos finishes 16 place math in 1 week, how many place maths in all mother and daughter can finish together in 4 weeks? So, may, kaya daw niyang tumapos ng 4 sa bawat tatlong gagawin ng anak niya. So, sa isang linggo, kaya ang gumawa ng 16. So, ang anak niya ay kaya ang gumawa ng 12. This is per week. So, you just have to multiply it by 4. So, 16 times 4 is 16, 32, 64. So, 64. Tapos, yung anak naman niya kaya ang tumapos ng 12, 24, 48. So, 48. So, you just have to add 64 plus 48. So, dito is 112. So, 16 is A. Okay, 16 is 8. So, for item 17 and 18, refer to the following information. A list of numbers, the first two and the second is 7. So, yung una daw niyang number is 2 to 7. So, each subsequent number is the sum of all preceding numbers. So, um, i-add mo lahat ng numbers before that. So, yung third number mo is 9 because 2 plus 7 is 9. So, yung fourth number mo is 2, 7 plus 9. So, which is 18. And then, i-add mo ulit lahat, magiging 36. So, makikita mo yung pattern dito. Na-start tayo ng, ng item number 3, or number number 3, yung third number. You just have to multiply it by 2. So, ang sagot mo dun sa number 17 is 36 because ang tinatanong is fifth number on the list. Huwag kayo ma-overwhelm dito sa number 18 kasi binigay naman na yung logic ng um, problem. So, yung 100th number is x. So, if based dun sa previous number, may kita mo na you just have to multiply the preceding number by 2. So, yung, yung 101st number mo is 2x. Yung 102nd number mo is 4x. Tapos, yung 103rd number mo is just 8x. So, 18 is d. Okay. So, dito, medyo mag... Ayoko kasi yung gitna rule talaga. Um, as much as possible, I think quantitative reasoning is teaching you how to solve a problem. Kasi pagdating nyo ng medical school, bibigyan kayo ng cases ng hindi nyo... Nang sobrang dami nyo pwedeng mapag-usapan. Pwedeng maraming sakit yung pasyente. So, now you have to solve the problem. Pero when it comes to medicine, hindi siya in numbers. Tao na pinag-uusapan. Illnesses and diseases na pinag-uusapan. So, hindi talaga ako naniniwala sa gitna rule. Kasi I think quantitative reasoning is there for a reason. For you to para maituro sa inyo yung critical thinking skills. So, for number 19, two numbers, the sum of two numbers is 19. Ay, okay. So, x plus y is equal 19. X is being the small number and then the Y is being the large number. Okay? So, na nalatag na natin yung una nating ano, um, given. So, yung next given natin, 5 times a smaller number, so 5X, is equal to 3 less than twice the large number. So, twice large the number, is less than. Okay? So, ito na yung second natin. So, i-insert mo yung first equation mo sa second equation mo by distributing ililipat mo yung x sa kabila y yung x yung ililipat ko kasi 2 yung kadugtong ng y sa second equation so para mas madali sa ating mag multiply so ililipat ko lang yung x sa kabila so this will be y is equal to 19 minus x para kapag pinasok ko siya sa second equation natin madali lang natin siya masosolve so 5x is equal to 2 times 19 minus x minus 3. So, solving 5x is equal to 38 
yeah, 38. Minus 2x, minus 3. So, distributing sa kabila, 7x is equal to 35. Divided by 7, divided by 7, x is equal to 5. So, our small number is 5. So, based on such choices, iisa lang dun yung my number 5, which is letter C. So, 19 is C. So, 20. So, out of top 1,000, tough? I came from one of the top 10. Mm. Out of top 1,000 corporation, 1,000 corporation, in the Philippines, 45% were established before January 1, 1980. And 25% were established before January 1, 1970. How many of these corporations were established between January 1, 1970 and January 1, 1980? So, makikita nyo naman kagad. So, we will plot it. So, 45% ng 1,000 is 450. And then, 25% ng is 250. So, we will draw a graph. So, dito, ito si, so, ito si 1980, so, dito si 1970. So, dito, makikita nyo na dito is 250, then 450. So, ito yung tinatanong. So, 450 minus 250 is just 200. Diba? So, sagot is B. Okay. So, 21. 21. So, from a 6 by 5 squared inches cardboard are cut of 2 by 4 square inch rectangle and 9 square inch square in a circle with a radius of 1. So, what is the area of the remaining cardboard? So, una, ano muna yung area nung nasa umpisa? So, it is 30 inches square. Tapos, yung una nating ikakat is 8 inches squared. And then, yung next is, dahil square siya, automatic na yan 9. Kasi binigay na niya yung, ano niya, binigay na niya yung area, inches squared. And then, a circle. So, circle, area of a circle is just pi r squared. So, dahil ang radius natin is 1, automatic, 1 yun. So, this is just pi. So, ikakat na natin siya dun sa 30. So, 30 minus 8. Minus 9 is 13. Dahil pi yung isa, hindi talaga siya number. So, para makuha natin siya, we'll just have to deduct the remaining. So, it's 13 pi and then close and open parenthesis inches squared. So, the answer is B. 21B. Okay. So, for probability, number 22. Number 22. In a given series above, what is the probability of getting an even number? So, you just have to count ilan yung even number. So, yun yung ilalagay mo sa numerator. So, in probability, ang nasa numerator is yung chances of getting a certain number. So, a certain case. So, in this case, even number. So, bilangin natin ilan yung even number. So, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, it is 4 all over. Yung denominator natin, yung buong population. Ilan yon? So, ilan ba to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, 12. So, 4 over 12 is just 1 third. So, 22 is A. 22 is A. 23. So, for each month, John spends 2 fifth sa clothing niya. Ay, sa food niya. 1 tenth sa clothing niya, 1 fourth sa housing, and 1 twenty sa utilities niya. Tapos yung natitira is i-deposit niya sa savings. So, add muna natin lahat nung nagastos niya. So, again, babalikan natin yung nasa previous video natin. So, when you're adding um, fractions, kailangan pareho tayo ng denominator. So, dahil ang magiging common denominator dapat nito is 20, so, 20 divided by 5, that's times the numerator, which is 2. So, 20 divided by 5 is 4 times 2 is 8 over 20. Plus, 20 divided by 10 is 2 times 1, it's 2 over 20. 20 divided by 4 is 5 
times one is five, and then copy. So add all of these, ang mahukuha mo ay 16 over 20. So yung savings niya is amounting to 4 over 20, which is 1 fifth ng total niyang pera. So the question is, how much is monthly income? If 4,500 is his 1 fifth, para makuha natin yung 100%, we have to divide it dun sa fraction. So again, kapag you're dividing a fraction, you have to multiply it by the reciprocal. So this is just equal to 4,500 times 5. So 4,500 times 5, ang kakalabasan mo dito is 22,500. 23, it's B. So for the last number sa video na to, uh -huh, number 24, net income and tax due. So, proceed kagad tayo muna sa question. Miss Leia Mihares paid tax of 14250 Based on the table of shown above, how much was her net income? So, nakita nyo na, ano ba dito yung pinaka malapit dun sa binayaran niya? Binayaran niya is 14250 So, ang pinaka malapit dun is 8750 8750 Kasi ito yung base. So, by that, mahikita mo na sure tayo ng 200,000 and above yung net income niya. So, minus mo muna yung 14,250 minus 8,750. Ang makukuha mo dito ay 5,500. 5,500. So, sabi dito, 5,500 is 11% of the excess of 200. So again, this is multiplying by 11%. So nakikita mo dito, this is 11%. Yung 5,500 is divisible by 11. So lumalabas na 500 is the 1%. Okay? So, para makuha natin yung total, 100%, you just have to add two zeros. So this is 50,000. This is 100%. Nung excess. So, add to 50,000 sa 200,000. So, your final answer should be 250,000. So, ang sagot ay letter B. So, I guess that's it for today's video. And if you like this video, please hit thumbs up and hit subscribe. So, um, please kindly share this video para dun sa mga friends nyo na mag -e -end mat din. And for those na nagbabalak mag -e -end mat Good luck and please do take this time for you to review your materials. So I'll be linking my review materials and other PowerPoints and whatnot below. So keep safe and stay at home. Bye!